So I get a lot of uh, questions on how I paint my uh, decoys up. I got them just painted black right now. About eighth of an inch thick uh, fiberglass. A lot of people use a thin, thin board to do it. Uh, I just happened to come across a bunch of fiberglass and seemed to work pretty good. So I got my pattern all cut out. Just a matter of lining it up. And trace it on. I just use a pencil. Don't have to be right fussy. I just use a pattern that's just easy to make them all the same, less thinking. I'm not going to win no awards with it, but it seems to do the job. I'll get this drawed on and then I'll be able to put some paint on it. There, I think I got it all. Yep. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. It's all drawn on in pencil. So we'll start and put some paint on it. Not sure how good it will cover. We might need to have to put two layers on it to get it to cover good. And I'm sure it won't really matter to the ducks because if they get that close, the paint job should be the last of their worries. As long as the fellows behind the gun are doing their part. Another good thing about this is they have to be really close to be able to put shot through these decoys. I've seen people shoot these decoys before and the shot just bounces off them. There we get that done. Put a little weight on here. Oh, dipped it in the wrong one. I've already got the other side of this decoy already previously painted. little porous on this side and makes it a little harder to to cover good but what better way to spend a cold stormy night yeah we get our weight all done a little extra there just to didn't want to cover that black good Put a little weight on there and there now we'll go on to the next color.
Oh, we're going to do his eyeball. Like I say, we ain't going to be right fussy. When they been wearing work clothes, you ain't going to worry. You can wipe your brush on there and get her done. This orange always seems to be a hard color to, to cover good. You might have to do that two coats. Maybe in a few days I'll have a video posted of uh, putting these on some whiteboards. Er, excuse me, uh, V boards. The Y boards that I've been making are not yet tested. And they'd be right fussy. Hopefully a lot of you fellas can try this for your own seat up success. I know these things show up so well on the water. I'm running a lot of green head gear decoys and you can see these way farther away. Especially when there's any wind on the water, you get waves. These decoys just ride so high. They're so easy to see for the birds. Especially along with my uh, flying decoys and maybe we'll do a video on how to make them. I'm gonna put a little red on. Cover up a little bit of that. I'm gonna say we won't win no awards with this paint job, but it seems to do the trick for what I've hunted. Simple yet effective little paint job. For our nice surf scoter decoy. I got the other side already painted. And they show up so well from a distance. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and we'll have some videos of putting these on the V boards in the next couple days. And how to assemble them and get them ready for the water. <laughs> 